assalamu alaikum class in this video i'm going to guide you how you can create an online survey forms so there are multiple methods through which you can create online forms but here i'm going to use google forms because it is very easy and simple to create so if you people are ready let's start the process first of all you have to go to your google drive so i'm already here and now i'm going to create a new google form so as you can see at the left side of the page there is a there is an option new click this option in the last you can see the more option in the drop down list just go to the option and here you can see the google form just click this now by doing this a new tab is appeared and now you can see an untitled form so what you have to do you just have to add the title add different questions the question that you want to ask from your respondents and then send it to your respondents right so let's see how i am adding the question and how i am sending it to my respondents suppose the research topic the, the title of my top uh, of my research is work life balance so i am adding the title here i can also add the title here if you want to write any description you can write it down here it is optional i'm just writing it all the information will be kept confidential right now now i'm going to add different questions so first of all i'm going to add uh, some demographic questions related to the personal details of my respondent so i'm going to ask about their gender now in this question uh, in google form there there are multiple types of question you can add short answers you can add paragraph multiple choices and so on so in this case i'm going to add multiple choice because my question has multiple choices multiple options so i'm going to check multiple choice so let's say gender has two options male and female if you have done some mistake you can also um, you can also erase you can remove the option by pressing this cross symbol if you want to duplicate the the same question you can duplicate it by just clicking this option so the same question is duplicated as you can see if you want to delete this you can delete it by clicking this if you want to make this question as a required field you can on this option and if if not you can off this option now i'm going to add another question so you can add another question by clicking this add questions so here you can add different questions like i'm going to ask about your experience and um, i'm going to add different options 2 years 3 years four years and so on let's say i have only three options now if you want to add another question you can just follow the same procedure but if you want to add a section so you can see here at the bottom there is an option add section so just click this by clicking this option you can add a new section so let's say i'm done with the demographic variable i just don't want to ask more uh, respondent personal questions now i'm going to ask variable related question so for example my first question first variable is supervisor support supervisor support so now i'm going to add question and the questions will be related to supervisor support let's see the first question is my supervisor supports me and the options again i change the type as multiple and my option the options the scale of this question is strongly disagree disagree neutral agree and I strongly agree so i will add all the options strongly disagree disagree neutral 
agree and strongly agree so you can add multiple question as you want to i have already just following the same procedure so i have already created one uh, google form for you so you can see how the complete google form um how it looks like the title is here the description is here the, i have asked two question related to the personal details and then i have separated the section variable wise i just separated a section variable wise and you can see the questions right this is the complete form so the form is completed now i'm ready to send the form to my respondent so how you can send the form to your respondent as you can see at the right side of the page there is a button send just click this button there are two options you can directly email uh, the form to your respondents if you know the email address just write it down here in this um abc@gmail.com let's say this is an email address and i can simply send i can press the button send and simply it will send to my respondents the complete form but if i don't have email addresses so i can use a second option which is the link you can share the link with your respondents by just copying it from here and send it to your respective respondents so suppose i have already sent my uh, my form my online form to different respondents and so far i have collected only three responses so you can see the responses the collected responses in the next step here the three uh, is written it means three responses so far three responses have been collected so you can download the responses the collected responses by just clicking this option so if you want to download the csv format file you can download it by clicking this option otherwise if you want to create a spreadsheet you want an excel sheet excel sheet so you can use this option click this option you can view the spreadsheet now this is your excel sheet you can also download this excel sheet this is just a view go to file download and i want i want to download this in an excel format so i will click this first option so now you have your excel sheet with you you have your data with you but the data but now before into uh, importing this data into spss you have to first codify the data you have to codify the responses and then you are ready to import the data for further analysis thank you